Welcome back, trainers. So the grind never stops. We're just going to keep on moving over here and get these videos out for you guys. So we're going to have a little story time in a minute. Tell you what happened to me today. It was pretty intense. It's going to be involving a cliff, a pure ice road, and my car, and obviously myself, and a darn shiftery raid that I was trying to get to. And uh, we'll get into more details. We're going to do this Groudon for Groudon Shiny, see if we can get Luckies. Then go up against a Claydol raid, two of them, as a matter of fact, uh, using Weavile and then Honchkrow. I just wanted to see the performance, dodging as much as I can. The Weavile going up against a Claydol, it, I do believe is going to have Psychic. And the Honchkrow's Claydol is going to have Gyro Ball. So the multiple charge move is going to be a little bit annoying. No resistance on that, so it'll take a, quite a bit of damage if it gets hit. The Weavile, on the other hand, is going to be Dark Type, resisting the Psychic. So when I do dodge, it's just literally so minuscule. So I was able to do a great uh, test there. It, it did do good, and uh, I'm going to say Avalanche was doing a lot more damage uh, as opposed to its Dark move. So we can look at those. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about this uh, story that happened to me today. And uh, also take a look at a Shiny that I just caught. Well, go plus it. A plusle, and look at that CP. Perfect for the Great League. Very nice, and it's shiny. Excellent. So this is the Groudon here. Didn't turn out to be lucky, unfortunately, but hey, I uh, got a weather boosted one, so thanks, Jerk. Much appreciated. I do a lot of those PvP battles. You may have seen them before. All right, so I'm just going to scroll down my shinies as I tell you the story that happened. So I was chasing the shift tree, and you're going to laugh when I say the footage was deleted. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, sure you did it. Oh, okay, sure, okay. Uh, all right, uh, anyways, I've been a little bit uh, out of it. I shouldn't have been driving up there, really, but I kind of wanted to just get away from the city. But seeing that it just kind of rained and there was snow on the ground and also cold, you know, that makes, it, like, pure ice roads not good for driving up mountains with no guardrails. So uh, I was uh, doing that. I found the shift tree. I was like, oh, look at that. 15 minutes left. Okay, let me go. I turn off into this boonie trail and uh, find the gym there. Happened to be right at the corner, like a no guardrail corner, no snowbank, and it was pure ice. And my car was sliding, and I was like, uh, oh my gosh, there was no rocks or anything on the ground, guys. So we're going. <laughs> I get to the shiftery. I finally am able to just stop right there. And any normal person would have just driven away, but not me. I have to complete this raid and solo it. Uh, the fun part was uh, I did it. I used uh, three Caesars and then two Pincers. Uh, and then I had a Caesar in the back. It was like 1700 CP, which I didn't even have to get to. I, I'm pretty sure uh, the Pincers did great. So why the footage was deleted is because I went into AR mode. I wanted to get a shot of how close my car was with the shiftery next to the edge and just the ice snow and everything. So I have a little you know footage for you guys. But... As soon as I went into AR mode, uh, I guess the footage got deleted because I sat down just not to edit and I was going through and I was so confused because it wasn't there. And I'm thinking to myself, great, I don't even have the footage. That's a long story short. Uh, we're, we'll actually, we'll make the long story. We'll continue on. So I get to the raid and I'm like, the car is slightly sliding. I have the e-brake on and everything. And I get into the raid. I start tapping, right? And I'm not a crazy tapper i'm not tapping my screen super hard but it, it's slightly shaking the car and it's moving forward oh my god i'm freaking out i opened the door and i was like whoa I, and at this point i'm still tapping the screen guys i'm still tapping the screen to beat this stupid raid and uh i mean it, it was insane i didn't do any much dodging i don't think i think i still tried dodging a couple of times my car's about to fall off the cliff with me inside and i'm still trying to freaking beat a raid <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was weird. Anyway, so like, go on, I beat it, go into AR mode. Uh, the camera stops, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that, didn't realize. I turned on the camera again. I mean, I can show you me catching it, I'll put that footage in here. Uh, but, so I beat it, I go down the road and I'm thinking, oh, is this an actual dead end? It turns out it it's a road, it goes through in the summertime, but during the winter, uh, I don't think people were just driving down it. Because like I said, it's way off in the boonies here. Nice houses and stuff, but uh, people don't drive too often up there. And the snow gets packed quite nicely. And with nobody driving on the roads, you know, there's no hard concrete there because it's not continuously driven over. Making it just completely ice-packed snow. 
So there was this slight hill that I had to go down to get to that raid in the beginning, like I was saying, right? So I was thinking, great, there's no way I'm going to get out of here because my car doesn't have studs uh, all seasons. And, you know, I'm really considering about getting studs again because those are the way to go in Alaska, especially if I'm going to be driving up mountains, which uh, I know never again. That was the scariest thing. So we haven't even got to the worst part, right? So I go back up the way I came and it was very icy this whole little narrow road going back up to this hill where the raid was in the first place and i had to get a bit of speed but the thing was if i got speed i would have basically driven right off this cliff so i had to get the decent amount of speed and turn at the right angle and if i failed my car would slide backwards off goodbye see you later Hulk. <laughs> oh god and i knew this freaking scary guys all right so I go, I punch it, I turn off the anti, the like slip things because it prevents you from slamming on the gas as hard as you can when you're over ice. It's just like a protection thing, safety precaution. I turn that off so I can just punch it as hard as I can. I get up, I get up guys. And then I, I kind of like hit the snow, like crunchy snow that's not completely ice on the side. And I knew I had to do that, otherwise I was a goner. Like, uh, I'm not saying, oh, I'm going to die, but maybe I could have jumped out the car, but it would have been like rolling down this big hill. Goodbye forever. So anyways, I hit that snowbank and uh, I'm able to just kind of stick there for a minute. But the car starts sliding backwards and I'm like, no, uh, this is this is very bad. So I uh, tried calling a tow company. They were like, so where are you? And I told them they're like, nope not going and denied by a couple of them. So I was like, oh God, what do I do? Call 911? Have to. Uh, so I call them and they're like, oh, okay, we'll try turning around. The road seems like it goes through. It's like, okay, I'll go check again. And I went back to check because I, I slowly backed my car up. I was able to stay on the side where the kind of crunchy snow was and uh, get back over there. And it was a dead end completely. And I wanted to call him back and say, guys, you, you, you told me to go this way. It's a dead end. What should I do? I can't get out of here. No tow company is going to come get me. But at this point, I was in, not in an emergency anymore. So I couldn't really just call the cops to say, I'm stuck over here. Help me, right? So uh, I go back up and I just, I, I punch it again. And this time the car starts sliding backwards quite fast. And, and I like turn it into the snowbank on the side. There was none like at the turn, uh, but what there was like a bit of that crunchy snow, like I was saying on the side. So I kind of just like made the tire go in there. I take out my floor mats. I put the car and um, brake with the e-brake. I put floor mats underneath my tires and it took me probably about an hour, but I was able to finally get out. And if you're wondering, what do you mean floor mats? Well, if you take your floor mats and if you live in anywhere that has snow, you probably know this, that you have by your feet uh, when you get in your car, you take those out, you put them underneath your tire and it gives you traction. And that's what I used to get out. And this wasn't like, oh, put the floor mats down, move up and I was out. I had to put the floor mats, inch up, barely like just about a half a foot and then do it again and do it again probably about 20 times until I was able to get up this hill. And I had to put the e-brake every time. And not every time that I put the e-brake on, it would stay still, would kind of slide back slightly, making it extremely difficult to get grip on those floor mats. So I had to like basically uh, hold my brake and then punch my gas at the same time, something you're not supposed to be doing. So it wouldn't, you know, move back whatsoever so yeah that that happened today for this chef Dree, which i can't even show you the solo hopefully uh i'll not hopefully i'll find one tomorrow and just do it again uh leaf blade going up against that was you know fairly easy i did try it before uh going up against hurricane i had one minute left on the timer and i beat it with about six seconds left but the timer of course you know stopped me so i was like uh whenever that happens i get annoyed and i just delete the footage uh, that one time with the Tyranitar, though, I kept it and kind of made a little rage video. But <laughs> yeah, anyways, that happened today. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little story there, folks. Pretty insane. Uh, happy I got that plus I suppose. I was really hoping to get the Psyduck. I need to go out to grind tonight. I'm going to probably go do that and see if I could find myself that blue ducky. And for all the people who like to watch those gym battles, I'll have you know that I actually recorded one today using some Gen 4 Pokemon. So look out for that. And if you're wondering why don't you upload more gym battles and this and that, I, I would love to. 
it just people don't really like to watch those too much but i understand that on my channel i like to put out a lot of different videos and that's okay if you don't like to watch everything you pick and choose kind of like a cable channel just because you have a favorite channel doesn't mean you have to watch every single uh show that appears on that network right you you have your favorites and you watch them and you record them or whatever you do so yeah i'll bring those back and uh see what i can do with that it was weird <laughs> it was weird gym battling like i've took it down some gyms but it's like pyramid champs talking with my friend tapping the screen not not even caring right uh, but it was just fun to actually use pokemon that i haven't tried yet these gen 4s yeah anyways i uh, hope you enjoyed this video and i'll be catching you all next time thank you for watching trainers